Did you know that pure tungsten is actually worth less than tungsten carbide at the scrapyard? It seems kind of backwards, right? Let's break down how and why this works. So in the scrapyard, usually a rule of thumb is that the purer the material, the more value it has when we're purchasing it. And that's because of how the recycling process works. Materials sent out for recycling and refinement often needs to be separated from impurities and contaminations because when they bring out the final product, it needs to be free of all those contaminants. This takes time and money, and that's often why material is worth more when it's brought in pure than when it's contaminated. But that's not the case with tungsten carbide. Now, before I get into this, I wanna clear up some terminology when talking about this kind of material. A lot of the times when people come into the scrapyard, we hear the word carbide, and we assume that it's tungsten carbide, but that's not always the case. Carbide, by definition, is a chemical compound. It's a mix between carbon and another material. In the scrap world, when we refer to tungsten carbide, that's tungsten that's mixed with cobalt. Now, why is this important? 